Why it's non-trivial is to understand the neuroscience of pleasure and pain. And the way that I explain this to my patients and to my medical students is, is I say, imagine that in your brain, there's a balance, kind of like a teeter-totter in a kid's playground. And in its resting state, unlike a teeter-totter in a kid's playground, that balance is level with the ground. That balance represents how our brain processes pleasure and pain, and they work like opposite sides of a balance. When we do do something pleasurable or reinforcing, let's say in my case, I eat a piece of, cho piece of chocolate, my balance tilts slightly to the side of pleasure, I get a little release of dopamine, our pleasure neurotransmitter in the brain, and I feel good. But one of the overriding rules governing this balance is that it wants to stay level. It doesn't want to remain very long to the side of pleasure or the side of pain. So the brain will immediately respond to that or adapt to it by down-regulating our own dopamine production 